looking at the scoreboard, 53 points in front. Actually on the black, pot the black can and the two reds together just to the left of the pink looks to be. Looks to be the shot. Oh, well, he got into that too much. He's on nothing, is he? 51. Well, I can't quite understand how he played that. <coughs> Not to me, as though you play the cannon on the two reds together. And you were certain to be on something. <coughs> He's on nothing. Peter Ebden, 51. A lead of 60 for Ebden. But I don't believe that Dot expected to get back to the table with the frame still in a live situation. <coughs> he did think, I'm sure, that Ebden was going to clinch the frame at that visit. Although Peter Ebden has got a 60-point lead here, he's got to be careful because all these reds are in the open. The colours are very accessible. If Graham Dot did get a chance, possibility you could win the frame in one visit. Had a look where the second red goes. If he plays thin off the end red, it goes there. One. Yes, made it into a plant. Got a nice angle on the brown. He came to the table 60 points behind with a possible 75 left on the table. So he hasn't got a problem with what colours he needs to play on. As long as they're a reasonably high value. Five. Came round, had a look. He had to make it. But right in the heart of the pocket. Six. Now, if ever he needed a frame winning break, here's his chance. Thirteen. I need to tell you where the big problem ball is. That's the red near the right hand cushion. But he's right handed. As long as he gets a nice angle on the colour, he can drop behind that. I think he's good on this black. I'll screw back with a bit of side. How's the position? Couldn't have played it better. 27. And now, imperative, he gets a good angle on the next colour to drop on the awkward last red. the red dead straight 34 that's about right key shot coming up <laughs> 35 one more good positional shot needed pink to yellow And he's on it absolutely inch perfect. 
Six colours required. 41. Forty-three. Oh, John Dot knows how many tens of thousands of times his sons <coughs> cleared the colours from their spots. But can he do it now? I always feel that's 50. one of the tricky shots. And he's not perfect on this blue. He needs a good shot from blue to pink. It looks good. It's to the inch. Pink and black needed one of the best clearances he's ever made in his life. Sixty one. was in with 51, he seems certain to go on to clinch the frame, but Dot, with that 68 clearance, snatches the frame on the black to lead by 17 frames to 14. That was surely the clearance of Graham Dot's life. Magnificent, John Parrott. I said to you, he's got to drag something from his boots, and you've just seen it. That was absolutely fantastic. And if he ever do, deserves to win the World Championships, it's because of that clearance, because under the circumstances, that's the best break he's ever made. We've talked about guts and determination. It was in there, wasn't it? Absolutely fascinating. I haven't got a clue what the reports in the paper are going to make of this final. Any papers criticise this for slow play, they've missed the plot completely. Well, the story is really becoming wonderful to watch now, isn't it? I know it's uh, past the witching hour, is officially going to be the latest finish to any World Championship final. Our sports psychologist, Pete Lindsay, is with us. <laughs> Analyse that. <laughs> he needs one himself. <laughs> He's...